Hi guys, welcome to Head Over Heels podcast. And today I am beyond excited to be able to chat with the absolutely incredible, stunning, talented Cindy Busby. Hi! Hello! How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am so good. I'm so excited. Yes, I'm excited too. <laughs> It's so lovely to see you. I have been raving to all my friends for like weeks. I'm like, you're never going to guess who I get to interview. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That makes me very grateful to hear. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much for taking time out of your, which I'm sure is a very busy schedule. I Um, mean, it's ups and downs but yeah I'm I'm grateful I'm I'm grateful to be here Suze is also here my dog just at my feet so she's like my uh my chill Cindy it's all good kind of <laughs> vibe dog <laughs> I love that so much my dog is downstairs otherwise he would just not leave me alone to right, a point yeah. where I just wouldn't be able to do it totally <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, um, congrats on this on this amazing venture that you're on. This is super exciting, and thank uh, you. You know, sometimes you just have to do things you're passionate about and just go for it and see what it will happen. You know, and I think that's really exciting. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was sort of. Um, I went to Rama Drama. Yeah, and it was just I was like, I want like Hallmark and like the, just the world of these types of movies have done yeah. so much for me um, yeah. as a person. And I was like, why not just start sharing what it's done for me and with other people? And then it just sort of spiraled. And I was like, why not just gotta yeah. go for it? And when things are meant to be, they find a way to, uh, to manifest themselves so um good for you for for jumping into the deep end welcome thank welcome you <laughs> incredible world <laughs> thank you um so I mean we're here mostly because of your upcoming movie but I have a few things like I did some of my own little research and I'm gonna got a bunch of questions to go through first okay great so um I well I know you are originally from Heartland yeah, um, <laughs> where are uh, my people at? <laughs> yeah, I was a huge fan of seeing it all. It's yeah. Um, so, but I know you did some acting before that. Do you remember your very first like real acting gig? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm sure you have it lined up, but um, yeah, no, I do. I was my first ever credit was a show called Undressed, which was on uh, MTV, which as a Canadian, I didn't have MTV. So I had no idea what this show really was. And uh, it was actually my first ever professional audition. Like I had no idea what I was doing. I was still in theater school and I went to this audition I got a call back and ended up booking the role, but actually the role I booked, I couldn't do because I was in theater school. So I ended up um, saying no, turning it down because I could not miss school. Otherwise I would have been kicked out. And, uh, and then they actually offered me another role in an episode that came right after it. And, um, and so I said, yes. And, uh, and it all started there. <laughs> Very different to the Hallmark world that I am now a part of. <laughs> I mean, just a little bit. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I look back at that time, like of me being on set and, and acting in front of cameras and stuff, it's, I mean, I have really come a long way. <laughs> that's so funny yeah Um, yeah and then it's I will quickly scan through your IMDB obviously because that's what I do um and it's funny because I completely unrelated to the fact that you were in it I was having like one of those days and I watched picture this the other day and I was like oh yeah she's in this and it was just like you just look like such a baby (laughs) oh yeah no I I was I surprisingly was not a baby I was very much an adult at that point but but I I am very grateful because I got um a later start in my career um I was not like a child actor or anything like that um 
although I did plays in school, but uh, yeah, so I, 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 yeah, I look like baby of a picture. This was such a cool experience because so I auditioned for that while I was doing the first season of Heartland. I think it was or maybe the second season. I can't quite remember. Anyway, and uh, and I didn't know if we were going to be able to make them work because I was in Calgary. And then by the time I was um, living in Montreal, which is where I'm from, and the movie uh, picture of this was shooting in Montreal. But somehow we were able to make it work. And I remember going through one week of intensity where I flew back and forth Calgary to Montreal. I think it was like four times in the week where I was shooting for the day in Alberta, flying out that night, going back to Mon Montreal, then the next morning flying back to, it was like, I was, I was living the dream that week. Um, it, it wasn't like that after that, to be fair, but that one week I felt really important and really special and really tired. Yeah. So that um, sounds exhausting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's, that's like one of my, my go-to feel good movies. It's just, yes. it's and such I was, a great I was movie. A bad girl in that movie. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I went through my, my bad girl phase of like do playing Ashley in Heartland and then playing um, in picture this. So, but they're, you know, they're fun roles. I, I love doing that. I mean, you nailed them both. So. <laughs> Thanks. Um, do you remember your first uh, Hallmark movie? Like what sort of transitioned from what you were doing before into Hallmark? Yeah, yeah I uh, I've mentioned this before, but uh, I auditioned for Hallmark a lot for a long time and I never booked anything for so long. And I was just like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. You know, whatever, all the things that neurotic actors think of. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> And, uh, and then just one day I, I booked a, a role. I had dyed my hair brown because I just wanted to try something different. And then I ended up booking my first Hallmark movie, which I was like, what are the chances of that? Uh, quite high apparently. And, uh, and yeah, I booked, um, Lucky in Love, which I played the best friend. Um, and, uh, Ben Hollingsworth was in that movie, which subsequently was, Jack in a Godwin Christmas Met for Love with me. So um, although I didn't have any scenes with him in that, and Ben was also in Heartland as well. So uh, you know, it's kind of the the Kevin Bacon game a little bit, but uh yeah, that was my first. And then after that, I booked Cedar Cove uh, recurring as Rebecca Jennings. And then after that was uh, unleashing Mr. Darcy. So, you know. You just never know how things will come to, come to be. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden you're just, it was like, after that, you were everywhere in the Hallmark world. And I was like, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually wanted to talk about uh, Godwink Christmas. First of all, I mean, Ben Hollingsworth is just so dreamy, but um, <laughs> it's that movie sort of, especially now more than ever sits differently with me because I have MS. Mm. So, um, I, and I just got diagnosed a few months ago. So watching it then, and then it's, it's funny. Cause when I got my diagnosis immediately, that was one of the things that like clicked into my brain, like was the movie. And I was like, oh yeah. And then I went home and, and watched it the same night just to be like, cause it's, it sits so heavy with you and you're like, who wants to like deal with someone? And I already have Crohn's disease and I had cancer. So it's like, it's right. been a lot yeah. and I'm like who wants to deal with somebody like that but then that's why it's like Hallmark movies and the, that genre it just like sort of like brings you back down to like a really nice lovely safe place so yeah. thank you for that movie oh my gosh um well thank you thank you for saying that I I feel like that movie was such a a blessing in so many ways and and I feel so honored to have played Alice and and to tell their story and how beautiful it is. And, um, you know, I, I feel like since having done that movie, I've, I've received so many messages from people like you who've, who've been diagnosed with MS or have had it for, had it for several years and, and how, you know, their story, they didn't feel like their stories were being told, um, you know, uh, as, you know, and they wanted to be represented and seen and, and to know that, you know, it's not, 
you can still have beautiful things come into your life despite all of those things. And, you know, just like, look at you now, like you're doing this thing and you're following your dream and, and you're, you know, you're taking leaps and, um, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. And I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to, to have been a part of it and to, you know, show justice to the story as much as I could, um, being someone who, you know, doesn't have that. So, um, that was really important to me. It's also like really intimidating too, you know, cause you really want to do it justice and you want to tell the story truthfully and honor it. And, um, yeah. And I, I, hopefully I, I did, did that. And, um, yeah, it was, um, it was a really great experience. Well, from someone with MS, you, it was, it was beautiful. And so I thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank you for sharing your, your story and, and vulnerability because it's, uh, it's not something easy to do, but I think the more that we talk about it, it just kind of debunks things and, and it's, yeah, it's really important, you know, to be like, Hey, I'm a young, vibrant, beautiful person, and I'm just going to keep living my life despite it all. Right. So absolutely and one foot in front of the other (laughs) yeah and it's i'm a dancer for a living like i own a dance studio and i'm canadian as well i live just north of toronto so right right yeah yeah um so i've had other people also talk about that movie and other hallmark movies and just how they like lift you up from such a dark place and let you believe in yourself again because ms being something that attacks your body i was like being a dancer it's like it, it can be difficult, but also knowing that those those things, you can still go for whatever you, you want and you can have whatever you want as long as you just got to keep that head up and that attitude and um, that, mo- even though to some people it's just a movie, those messages come across so strong uh, yeah. to so many people. And it's just, it's so lovely to see those stories being told. Um, and actors that are portraying them properly. So thank you to you and also yeah, to Ben so, as well. And to, and to Hallmark and to Alice and Jack who were- Yeah, true story. To, to share their story. Cause you know, that's vulnerable too, to <laughs> be like, here's my life. Can you please, you know? Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was really cool. And, uh, and I, yeah, I, I get, you know, it's one of those movies that doesn't get old, it seems. So that's, and you know, Kathy Lee Gifford. I mean, it's all just, and we just had such an incredible cast in that movie. And um, yeah, it was, it was a ton of fun. Everyone behind the camera as well was, you know, the crews. And that's the thing about, you know, all the Hallmark movies that I'm a part of. And there's always such a sense of family and community that come together. And um And, you know, even when you're dealing with, you know, darker subject matter, you know, being able to smile through it and and find the lightheartedness through it. Like, that's something that, you know, I I love being a part of these movies because they do that so well. And, you know, the last couple of years in the world, it's been challenging. And and to be able to, I think people now more than ever are leaning on, you know, all of these movies because they... They just want to know it's like dependable. Like when I was at Christmas con two weekends ago, people were like, it's dependable. I know what I'm going to get with it. I know I'm going to feel good. I know that I'm going to, you know, see a handsome guy and be like, Ooh, who's he and all this stuff. And, and so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. It's really, it's, I'm, I don't, it's interesting. Like, you know, we're talking about my career and I don't really know how I got here, but I got here and I feel like it was something I didn't know I needed or wanted and it found me somehow. And I feel really grateful for the process that is life of how things kind of come to be um, in such a magical and expected way. Uh, and uh, and that's that's pretty cool. I'm always, I'm always so fascinated and, and like, I just, I just love like the, the magic of life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are very grateful that you have gotten to this place too, because you <laughs> fill our hearts. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so I'm just going through my little list of questions here. Yeah. Um, so during the pandemic, I was reading that you uh, took up a little hobby of fostering dogs. 
Right. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, my, um, so at the time I was volunteering at best friends, uh, um, animal, uh, I guess like shelter and where they have like a no kill rule where they keep, you know, animals that have been surrendered and I would go walk the dogs. And, and then when everything started happening, that particular one, um, they were going to actually close down and like ship the animals to another um area because people weren't going to be coming in and out to help volunteer and everything and so because of that i i found out that they were going to be uh putting all the or as many dogs as they could in foster homes in the meantime and i remember being like oh my gosh we should do this and telling you know my husband like we should we, we should do this like i love i mean i am obsessed with all animals all the time doesn't matter what it is and um and he was like I don't know, like, you know, he was, he was kind of hesitant, which I understand it's a big undertaking, you know, um, but we did. And not only did we foster one, we fostered two because they were an attached, um, uh, they were attached siblings and they needed to be together. And um, they were, they were just so sweet. It was amazing. We had them for a month and um it was a little bit of a struggle toward the end, which is why we were able to find another foster for them because they were a little bit overweight and we have a lot of stairs here. And so it was a struggle to bring them up and down and, you know, for me to walk them together without Chris, my husband, it was kind of a struggle. So it just wasn't fair to them. And so we were able to find another foster. And then I found out um, not long after that they got adopted together. So I was so, so happy. Oh, that's um, but that really, yeah. And then that really opened up the door for me looking into wanting to adopt a dog. And, uh, and then we did, and, uh, we adopted our dog Susie last, um, summer, uh, from a rescue here in LA called Mayday Rescue. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I, I could like literally start crying just thinking about it. She's just like completely just changed my life and, See, I'm gonna start crying. She's just the best. You're gonna make me cry <laughs> watching you. <laughs> it's just that, um, like, I grew up with animals, and I've always had like a, a very strong attachment to animals, and I just think that they they get it. You know, they get life. They they live in the present moment. They love unconditionally, which is ultimately. I think the goal of life. And for me, she just reminds me constantly to be present, to um, to tap into my feminine energy of like gentleness and caring and nurturing. And um, yeah, anyway, it's the best thing we I ever did. <laughs> That's amazing. Doctor, she's just the best. And she travels with us. And, you know, we were just in New Jersey uh, visiting some family a couple days ago. And, uh, you know, she's under the 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 seat right in front of us and she's so sweet and she brings a smile literally to everyone's face and to me that's that's everything whenever she like brings you know the rant the most random person you least expect she just makes them smile and um yeah that's 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 cool you know like i just and i love that i i personally love smiling to like total strangers and Sometimes they probably think I'm crazy and sometimes they smile back, but I'm like, I don't care because I just made someone's day, hopefully, or you never know what people are going through. So it's important to to share the love in, in any way you can. Yeah, uh, something I brought it up because dogs are, are just, I'm so passionate about getting dogs adopted. Yeah. I work with uh, a place not far from me called Dog Tales uh, yeah. Animal Sanctuary, Rescue yeah. and Sanctuary, and they have cats, dogs, horses, cows pigs like and they're no kill and they're at capacity right now so i've been working with them uh in my TikTok, and i went over and did a bunch of like videos and stuff to try and get them all adopted so it's it's very close to my heart as well so when i read uh, that i was like oh i gotta talk to her about it yeah. oh thank you yeah it was um yeah it was it was awesome i think if our our like if we had a different living scenario, I would probably foster and adopt more dogs, which is not out of the picture for the future. Um, but right now one is, um, is plenty for us. Unfortunately, I would literally have like, my dream is to have like a farm, like a sanctuary where just animals would just come <laughs> and hang out until someone else 
you know, wanted them or they passed away. So that, that would like, that mm -hmm. would be my, my, my greatest joy is to do that, which, um, you never know anything is possible. That's right. Manifestation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Hallmark is known for their love stories, but I was wondering if you would be willing to share your own love story. Cause I know you got married a few years ago Yeah. Um, and I love asking the actors about their own Hallmark love stories. Okay. Um, if, if you're willing to share. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I am married to an amazing human. Um, his name is Chris and, uh, we met in April 2016, I had uh, moved to Los Angeles a couple months prior and um, I was kind of just having a good time, you know, just enjoying my life and, and you know, dating a little bit and, and uh, but just mostly just kind of like enjoying myself and, and not really expecting to meet someone that was going to be like my person, which I feel like sometimes is when you meet your person. Um, anyway, we, I was... I was dancing at a at a club as one does <laughs> and uh, and yeah he came up to me and just started talking to me and asked, told me he wanted to take me out on a date and I was like what uh okay um and uh, he was there with a bunch of friends and so I was like okay fine sure whatever and I gave him my number and then I remember I was leaving with my friends. Um, we were hopping in a in an Uber, and then all of a sudden there was like a knock at the window, and and I turned around and it was him. And I was like, "What?" And I like put the window down. I was like, "Hi," <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, so like your number didn't work?" And I was like, "Oh," and I swear I did not give him the wrong number <laughs> like, on purpose. Like I did not. <laughs> And, and I was like, oh, weird. And then anyway, he, I think he gave me his number and I ended up calling him or something. And then he had my number. And then we ended up like texting for like an hour and a half, like when I was at home and it was like, you know, kind of late. And he was, we were just texting. We had like a really good banter and um, he was like, I'm going to ask you out. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. You know, like I was just kind of like no, no expectation, no attachment. And, uh, and then I guess that was the Saturday night. And then the Monday he asked me out on a date on that Thursday. And I gotta be honest with you. I didn't even remember what he looked like. Like I did. <laughs> That's the best. I just, I just did it. And then I remember like looking him up on Facebook at the time I was like, Hey, like I, I'll for sure find him on Facebook. And turns out a lot of people have his name. And so I did not, I could not find him and so anyway i ended up going on the date and then as soon as i he i walked in and then he was like hey cindy and i turned around and i was like i was like oh it's him and i was like oh okay yeah i, I can i can deal with this yeah absolutely <laughs> and uh yeah we just had a really great time he's super funny and charismatic and um you know he's just like uh what am I like so emotional today? Uh, I'm he's just like a really, really good human being with like a heart of gold who, you know, would do anything for anyone is just so thoughtful and loving and supportive and hilarious and hardworking and, you know, makes the time for me and for people in his life. And I, uh, I personally have had not a particularly great history of, of boyfriends. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think that the moment he came into my life, I realized that I was like, oh, like you can like, and I remember my friend, Sarah, used to always tell, tell me this. And at the time I never really believed her. And she would always say like, you know, Cindy, like being in a relationship can be easy. And by easy, not like like boring, but like easy as in like, it just falls into place and it can be that incredible, loving, amazing, fun experience as, you know, partnership should be. And uh, and that's just, that's how it is with us. Like from the moment we met and, and the first year of our relationship was definitely challenging because we had a lot of, of um, 
long distance because I was working, he was working, he's in the industry as well, but he's not an actor. And, um, but we made it work. Like we made a rule for each other that every three weeks we would meet each other, whether it was in one city that the other person was in, or if we met halfway or whatever it was. And we did, and we held true to that and we made it work. And we always said good morning to each other. And we always said good night. And, you know, it, it definitely didn't come with challenges as any relationship does. But I think the biggest thing is when we show up for each other and we want to be better for ourselves and then fundamentally for each other. Um, and I will say the moment I met Chris was um, a time in my life where I actually was like, I am, I am loving and caring for myself now. Like I am doing that now. I'm not letting anything get in the way of my love and self care. Um, because if I do that for me, then everything will fall into place and I will attract the person who will want to do the same for myself and want to do the same for themselves. And I'm a huge advocate of like the moment you, you take the reins of your life and you realize that like, you know, your, your external world is really kind of a representation of your internal world. And the moment you take command of that, um, things will change in your life. And, and to be honest, that's when my career changed, everything changed um, in my life. And I, 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 I truly, truly believe that with all of my being. That's so lovely. <laughs> And it's, it's not it's, an easy thing to do. And guess what? It's not popular because it's it's not like talked about a lot, I feel, um, you know, especially maybe for women, like, you know, to like, there's a lot of like, oh, that's selfish or whatever. But I think you can only be the best version of yourself for other people if you are for yourself, first and foremost, you can't, you can't give if you can't give yourself if your own cup is not full. And uh <clears throat> and you have to be willing to be with someone who wants your cup to be full and wants you to be able to fill your own cup. And uh, if you're not with someone like that, then it's like, bye, see you later. Um, but sometimes we, I, some people wait a little bit too long to say goodbye. And I have been one of those people, but not anymore <laughs> because I choose me. <laughs> That's it is. And then hearing that, from people is just it's so inspirational and it's sort of because I'm I mean I'm 34 and I'm at that point in my life too where it's I I'm like okay just I just have to live me right now um, and I've done the, the really terrible relationships and yeah. the staying in the relationships for too long too because it's comfortable um, and you can fix it because you know that you're gonna be the one that's gonna change them and you're like meanwhile yeah. I'm actually like for me, when I realized that that putting that energy into them was me avoiding putting the energy into me, because if you put the energy into you, then you're like, all of a sudden you realize you're like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, it's and what you said about being with someone who wants your cup to be full is just such a great way of putting it. It's because, yeah, I've had relationships, too, where it's. I, I'm a business owner and it's, it means so much to me. And my partner was struggling with the fact that I was also had to put time into building this life for, yeah. that was important to me as well. And mm -hmm. it's finding someone who understands that my business is, is a part of who I am. It's not just a, I go to work nine to five. Like yeah. it's, it really is such a big, huge part of me. And it's, it's, the dancers at my studio are family and yeah. it's that's been difficult too and we we represent like we're an 18 plus studio so it's um we represent like a lot of body positivity and confidence building yeah. and i found that can also be men don't always like it when you're like you know right. who you are and I'm right like, that's where I, I struggled it's too. Finding the right match, right? Like it's and and you know nobody's gonna be perfect. Like we're all a work in progress. And but I think fundamentally, it's finding someone who's gonna like match your energy or want to like grow with you because I feel like we're ever evolving, ever growing, and um, 
yeah, if you can find someone who wants to go on that journey with you, um, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be like perfectly imperfect because like that doesn't exist. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So that's my, my story, I uh, love it. Chris and I, and then, uh, we got married in December, 2020 in the time where most people were not getting married, but we were like, you know what, we're just going to do it. We're not going to wait for life to, to happen. We're just going to make it happen for ourselves. And so we did, and it was such a beautiful, small, intimate experience. And, um, yeah, I don't regret anything. It was, it was awesome. And it was perfect for me because I, I, I never wanted a big wedding. And I was like, I was like, this is perfect for me. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm so happy for you. That makes, you. fills my heart. Oh um, yeah. It's too late. So the movie. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, I'm so excited. First of all, it comes out on my 35th birthday. So I was like, yes, I'm so happy sign. for you. Happy Virgo. birthday to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, it looks fun. I'm actually, I'm chatting with Tyler next week. Um, I'm so excited for I you. I slid too. into his DM so fast to try and score an interview. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, um, so just, I mean, I'm sure there's so many things that you can share, but share what, cause I, I know there's probably also things that you can't share. Um, yes. So what can you share? Uh, well, I can share that we shot the movie in Yosemite National Park. Um, but what the, a dream. The story, sorry, my dog is digging up over here. <laughs> she, um, so um, it's called Marry Me in Yosemite and um, Tyler Harlow plays um, my co-star, and this is his first ever Hallmark movie. This is his first ever lead. Um, I'm so excited for him. This is such an incredible opportunity for him, and he is such a good guy. You're gonna absolutely love him. He's hilarious. We had such a great time. Um, but yeah, the the storyline is 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 um, Zoe Best is my character. And she has this, she is a photographer, a journalist, and has created these books, um, like Zoe's Best of the Midwest. And she kind of like takes various areas of the United States and creates books about, you know, what are the best things to do there and, and tells a story with photos. And she gets this assignment to do a book about Yosemite National Park, uh, which she has never been to. And uh, cut to, she finds her way uh with uh, Tyler's character of Jack and he um he at first doesn't want to take on the idea of helping her tour uh Yosemite and of course he he goes along for the ride and she kind of weasels her way in to to like come on like you we can do this it's gonna be so much fun blah blah and her character is very like snappy and fun and like she doesn't take no for an answer and you know, Jack is kind of the opposite. He's like sort of a mountain man who lives by himself, has been a guide. He's an adventure guy. And uh, and he says yes somehow. And, you know, Zoe is just blown away with Yosemite and what it has to offer. But most importantly, she really becomes attached to the, um, the story uh, of Yosemite and how it came to be and Ansel Adams and, um, you know, the the history as well of the indigenous people that were first um, in Yosemite National Park. And they, and and what I love most about this movie is we do really shed a, you know, put a light on um, the indigenous people of Yosemite National Park, the history. Um, we have um, incredible actors in it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm so, I'm, I'm excited for everyone to see. I think it's a really important story. I think it's a beautiful park and I had never been. And, uh, and of course, you know, there's a little bit of romance in it. So Just a little bit, everything everybody <laughs> loves adventure, uh, you know, some fun banter, some comedy, um, and some love and, uh, and some beautiful history and, um, and, uh, you know, it, important, important conversations in, in the movie, which I think, um, again, are very important um, stories to be told. And I'm grateful to have been a part of telling it. Amazing. 
what was it like filming in Yosemite? It like was, it was really, really cool. Um, like I said, I've, I've never been, and also one of the amazing things you'll find out, um, about Tyler is he actually worked in like national parks in the United oh. States. So he's like a legit, like actor guide, you know, adventure dudes, which I think is probably one of the big reasons he got the part to begin with. Um, he's been a climber, you know, he's done, he's not, he's not, you know, as he hasn't done like El Capitan or anything like that, but um, he's super knowledgeable in all of that. So I think that that was like a really great part and a, a great thing to have. Um, but working in Yosemite was honestly a dream come true. I have like 10 million photos in my phone that I cannot wait to post right before the movie comes out um, of all of the incredible places we got to go. Um, and, uh, and, and the really cool part about this movie and is, and people are really going to, they're, they're going to be blown away when they watch it is that we had a very tiny crew. Like I'm talking while we were shooting in Yosemite, which was for two weeks, um, we only had a 10 person crew, including actors. Wow. So there was actors, me and Tyler, the only ones who shot in Yosemite national park park. And then we had, um, you know, a sound, a sound engineer. We had our amazing, amazing DP, David, who, I mean, he literally, like everything you see is like natural lighting. There's no lights. It's all natural light. The only thing that, that we had was like a whiteboard made of styrofoam to help like reflect the light or to kind of like um, appease the light. We had like a black kind of like blanket that we would put on the ground so that you it would it would take away like the glare um, but that's pretty much it and you know uh we had a couple assistant we had two assistant um dps and they were just everyone was just incredible and 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 bruce who was our director he also wrote the script um and uh it was his first time directing and he's actually fun fact He's the one who marries us at the end of the movie. So, um, I mean, I'm not giving anything away because it's, it's just Mary. Yeah, it's called, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but Bruce Johnson, our director, he made a little cameo. So that was really cool. And uh, yeah, he's been in the industry for a really long time and written a couple scripts, but this was his first directing opportunity. And uh, yeah, it was, it was so cool. And yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I, I have a feeling that people, when they watch this, they're going to be like, was this shot in front of a green screen? And I'm going to be like, no, it wasn't. It actually looks this magical. Oh, I can't, I'm so yeah. excited. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty, it's, I, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be wanting to go to Yosemite next year <laughs> after watching this movie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then, you know, with the fires and everything that happened in, you know, the, the last couple of, of weeks um, was really devastating, especially, you know, having been there and you kind of like, it kind of holds a place in, in my heart. Um, so, uh, you know, I, 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 I pray that everything is okay. Um, but I really think that we've done such a beautiful job in, in really highlighting the best um, of the park and, and already just me talking about it, like on Instagram, already a lot of people were like, oh, we went to Yosemite, you know, last year or 10 years ago or whatever. Oh, we can't wait to watch this. And it's going to be like, and, and for those who haven't been, they're going to want to go. So it's just, um, you know, America just has so many beautiful, like, spaces. I mean, anywhere in North America, anywhere in the world, like, there's just so much beauty that is Mother Nature. And and I'm I'm constantly in awe of, of what, what this planet has to offer it's just so stunning and i i i feel lucky that i get to go on these incredible jobs and shoot in these magical places like it's just it's really cool it's just even from like the the previews that they posted and the photos that have been shared and stuff it just it yeah. really just looks like it's going to be a breathtaking movie yep and i feel really? like hallmark has really stepped up their their game with <laughs> with where they've been shooting and like yeah like, oh my god like all so many different beautiful magical places because I mean yeah. I live a few hours away from um where they film a lot of Christmas movies yeah um okay. and it's like 
Um, well, so I'm in Barrie, which is like an hour. Oh, yeah. I should yeah. move to Barrie. And um, so I'm only like four hours from Ottawa. And yeah. it's around oh, Ottawa. Yeah. They just film endlessly around Ottawa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and as well as Muskoka. So yeah. like Gravenhurst and Bracebridge yeah. and, and stuff around here. So, But mostly it's like the summertime and they turn it into winter. I know. <laughs> And it's so hot there in the summer too. It's like so humid and like, you're just like sweating and yeah, it's, uh, but it really is beautiful. Yeah. They, they do an incredible job, but it's just now seeing like the different locations that they have been shooting in and these movies that are coming out. It's just, uh, it's, it's been, I know I really want to go to Hawaii next. So many Hawaii movies. Hello, I'm available. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a few in Hawaii lately. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's amazing. Yeah, well, I, I will help manifest that for you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> Anyone else you, out there listening? <laughs> do you have like a favorite moment from filming? Like was there, is there something that sort of stood out without giving anything away? Um, hmm. Uh, well, there was, there is one day that we were shooting in, um, it was kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Like sort of like a, a, a field of sorts where um, we were literally just in the center of everything, of all of it all around us. And, you know, we have El Capitan and we have Half Dome right there. And we have the three sisters and the the spirals and everything. And I just remember I took a video of it. And um, and I, I just remember being like, like, where am I? Like, what is happening? You know, like, I think it's more that kind of thing. Because the whole time we were just like, oh, my goodness. Like, this is like, incre like incredible. But sometimes when you're in the madness of shooting, it's like long days and it was hot and you know, because it was kind of like the way we were shooting was a little bit guerrilla style because we didn't have a big crew and it's not, we didn't have like, you know, we didn't have chairs and like, you know, I like, I got my makeup done, like on the side of like a walk, like, like a hiking path, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And, and uh, on the first day I was, I, we did my makeup, Ashley, who's the makeup artist, who's amazing. We we're doing my makeup, like in the back of an SUV, like we opened it up and like, that's what, like, it was it reminded me of like, just, you know, the, the good old days of doing that kind of stuff. And, 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 you know, you just have a, a conscious moment where you're just like, you're brought back to the mo the present moment. And you're like, wow, like, I am so, I'm so grateful right now. Like, this is just unbelievable. Like, look at where I am. I get to do the job I love to do. I'm surrounded by incredible human beings. I'm surrounded by the, the majesticness that is mother nature on a beautiful summer day. I'm like, okay, thanks life. Like I can, like, did I die and go to heaven? Like what's happening here? Um, so, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, it was, it was, um, like every day we were like, we had dirt on us and we, you know, we were washing our hands in like a river and like, you know, stuff like that where, and sometimes there's not a bathroom nearby. And so the forest is the nearest thing. And like, you know, Real, like true nature. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, so, so some of the crew members were like, man, Cindy, like, I mean, Tyler was, is amazing. They're like, Cindy, you're, you're so like cool and like easygoing and down to earth. And I was like, I mean, I don't know how else to be like, this is just it. And like, whatever it's, this is it. Like, this is life. It's like camping, you know, mm -hmm. you just, you just do the thing and you know you you get fancy when you can and sometimes you don't and it's kind of fun it, it makes for great stories and and for fun adventures it sounds just I'm, I'm so excited for you and for the movie and it's it's just gonna be yeah I'm like yeah I'm excited oh this is a fun story I just thought of I just remembered so we were shooting outside of the Awani hotel uh, and the Awani is like one of the most incredible hotels in, in, in a national park in the world. It's like all log, like just, it's just stunning. And, um, 
we're just shooting outside and all of a sudden out of nowhere jared leto comes out of the hotel <laughs> and he's like hey what are you guys shooting here and we're all like uh <laughs> And we're like, oh, we're shooting a Hallmark movie. And he's like, oh, that's cool. He's like, do Hallmark movies always shoot with like, like only 10 people? And we're like, no, like we're only allowed, you know, a certain amount of people, this and that. And he was like, oh, cool. And we had overheard, funny enough, Tyler had just told me like two days prior, he's like, yeah, apparently Jared Leto's in Yosemite right now. Like he's going to climb, he's trying to climb like Half Dome or something like that. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, maybe we'll see him, you know, like we were all just talking. And then we did. And then he was like, hey, uh, you know, like people really like those movies, huh? And we're like, yeah, like people do. And he's like, I, he's like, anyway, have a good day. And then he just like, kind of like wandered off as like you would imagine Jared Leto. Cause like, he's kind of like, just like chill, you know, chill vibes. And then we just, we were shooting and he was just like pacing in a field like, I don't know, like a couple, like a hundred meters away, like on the phone, just talking, wandering in this like field. And we were all just looking at ourselves. We're like, what just happened? Like, it was so random and cool. And he literally looks like he's 20 years old. Like he looks like he did in my so-called life. Like it's so <laughs> wild. Uh, but the, yeah, that was, that was a really cool random story that, that happened to us. <laughs> That's so funny. What are the odds? Right? Apparently quite high, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Do you have any uh, other projects coming up? Um, Right now, I don't have anything yet. I do have a couple things brewing. Um, and I also um, have a writing partner, a really good friend of mine. And um, yeah, we've been we've been writing together. We just finished our first script. Um, we're super excited, and um, yeah, that's kind of my new venture now is uh, potentially creating my my own you know my own stuff and my own stories. And uh, and I'm really I'm so proud of the script. It's so funny and fun and. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I have very high hopes for it. So fingers crossed, stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, a new venture of mine that I'm, I'm very excited about. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait yeah. to hear more down the road about that. Yeah, you, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, see your name popping up everywhere now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, hopefully people don't get sick of me. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> like I, I just feel like it's, you know, I, I'm... I'm getting a little bit older and I, I just want to start branching out and digging my, you know, my, my fingers into different aspects of the, the industry and, um, and sharing, you know, everything I've learned in the last like two decades and, uh, doing my kind of my own thing, which, which is cool. Like it's, um, yeah. So stay tuned. That's amazing. Uh, I won't keep you because um, I'm sure you're busy, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk. Um, I'm so excited for this movie. And uh, now I have some juicy stuff on Tyler to ask him about <laughs> next week. Yes, he's. Um, we had a lot of fun quoting uh, movies constantly and laughing and uh he's a really 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 good dude and i'm uh i kept telling him i was like you wait and see buddy when this movie comes out all all the women are gonna be like tyler harlow tyler harlow oh where's harlow and i'm like you're gonna he's i i have a really good feeling about him i think he's gonna be around for a, a while and um i think he should be because he's super talented and just like a genuinely amazing human and uh you know and and that's and that's that and i am happy that i could be his first <laughs> his first hallmark um you know his his first hallmark uh, partner in crime and uh and i look forward to seeing what he does next i'm I'm very excited to see the two of you together and then maybe he'll give me some more juicy stuff on you next week. Yeah, please. I <laughs> um, so marry me in Yosemite, September 3rd. I know that because it's my birthday. <laughs> yes, happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Um, 
Um, and uh, yeah, I hope this new year brings you so much love and joy and uh, and peace because uh, Thank that's you. what it's about. Yeah. Good luck with, I'm sure it's just going to get rave reviews. I am beyond excited for you uh, for this to come out. And whenever anything else comes up, you know, I'll be sliding back into your DMs uh, to chat that. about that too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm so excited for you and uh stay tuned everyone marry me in yosemite september 3rd it's gonna be awesome and no it wasn't shot in front of a green screen <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the tagline <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i will be uh spamming everyone as we get closer to remind them to watch it so perfect thank you so much for doing that appreciate it the Amazing. check is in the mail <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> Thank you so much. This has been a pleasure for me. And like, just you have made my heart so full taking the time oh. to, to chat with me and, and share so many things. Um, and you're, you've made me very happy and you're going to make so many other people very happy. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest Thanks of your day. Me. Thanks you too. Bye. Bye.